Hi guys, I'm Carl from Trey Studios. And I thought I might give you a few tips on how to do your tie for your wedding day. So first I'm gonna be showing you a simpler knot. Uh, this is something that you can wear every day or to a wedding or a formal event. So first of all, you wanna make sure that the tie seal is on the outside and the short side is on your right and the long side is on your left. You want to adjust to make sure the short side is shorter than the thick side, possibly about there. I like to have it about down to my belly button. The first step is to cross the thin side over from right to left, over the top of the thick side, and hold it in a cross-like shape. Second step is to get, bring the thick side across, over the top, creating a little bit of a seal. Third step is to bring the tie up and through. And then the final step is to grab the tie and slip it through the seal that you've created in the second step. And then adjust. So the second knot I'm going to be teaching you is the Windsor knot. This knot's a little bit more difficult and might take a little bit more time to learn. The first step is to make sure that you have the shorter side on your right and the thicker side on your left with the shorter side are higher up on your body just because we're going to be using a lot of material on this side. The first step is to bring the thicker side from the left side to the right side of your body creating an X and then bringing it up and through like so. The next step is going to be bringing the thicker side that we've just pulled through around the back of the tie and up through the top like so. And that's going to give you a little bow-like figure right there. The last step is just like we did in the first one. We're going to bring the top of the thicker side of the tie across the top of our two fingers, which are pinching, like so, and bring it up through the middle and down. Pulling it tight to make that tie-like figure and then adjusting up to give you a more formal look. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to do a pocket square in four simple steps. This can be done easily for formal events or weddings. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lay out your pocket square on the table and fold in half, making sure the corners match up. The next step is to fold in half again, creating a neat box. And then you want to be able to locate the corner that doesn't have any valve on it, like so. The next step is to fold diagonally just like you would a paper plane, into a triangle. The last step is to grab your left and right corners and fold partially across, creating a box-like shape. From this, you can then tuck in to your suit. May take a little bit of adjusting. Tuck the pocket square in and give you a simple formal look. Another very basic pocket square that you can do, probably the simplest, is just a small box. All you want to do for that is get lay your pocket square out on the table, halve the box into a rectangle, halve again, realign your box, and continue with those steps, making sure you have a neat box. From here, you might want to fold it in half, tuck it in, and then just layer it out which gives you a neat formal look that yet again is very simple. I'd just like to say thank you again from Tree Studios and in the future if you guys need any help or tips and tricks on how to dress or what shoes to wear with what pants, make sure you drop it down in the comments and I can help you guys out in the future. Make sure you subscribe.